Good morning. It's day 13. Uh, what is today? July 8th. <laughs> and I am walking through um, Graño to leave. It is not very hot today. It's in the 70s. But <laughs> there's supposed to be severe thunderstorms. And I can hear a bunch of thunder. Um, the thunderstorms are supposed to be mostly around 12 p.m. today, according to the weather forecast. So I'm leaving at 7. I'm only going 15 kilometers today, so I should get to Belorado by 12 o'clock, no problem. But it is not looking too good out there. You can see, I think I'm definitely going to get my first day of rain, which I don't mind walking in rain. Yeah. It's fine. Buenos dias. But I do not want to walk in a thunderstorm, especially not if there's going to be hail. So I just have to play it safe. There are a number of towns that I stop in on the way during the 15 kilometers, which is really great. Um, so if it seems like it's going to be raining or sketchy, I could always just hang out inside somewhere um, until it goes away. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Hopefully, hopefully I can make it before the storms roll in. We'll see. Entered into a new region, Burgos province. So right now I am around here and today I'm going to Belarado and then the next day San Juan de Ortega and then to Burgos which is the next big city. Okay, it's just before 11. I'm walking into Belorado, which means in under four hours, I did almost 16 kilometers, which is great. But gosh, today was a struggle. <sighs> um, pretty much the entire walk was alongside the N120 highway. Um, I mean, you're on a gravel path next to the highway. You're not like walking on the highway pavement. Um, but it's just trucks and cars going by. Um, I mean, some nice things to look at on the left side of you, but just sort of an uninspiring walk. So just know that not all the Camino is beautiful. You gotta get from city to city, and sometimes that involves some, you know, unappealing parts. Um, and I'm just, my energy's feeling really low today. I feel really tired, even though I slept like almost nine hours last night and took a nap um, and I'm just sort of feeling a little bit lightheaded and a little bit draggy just like oh I can't go on but here I am uh, 800 meters to my albergue hopefully they'll let me check in <laughs> I would love to take a really long nap today and rest and um, my plan was to go to San Juan de Ortega tomorrow, but I might go a little further than that. I, I don't really know. There's, I think San Juan de Ortega is 
pretty small. There's not much there. And I've heard that a lot of people are going to go on to Ages and then only have 22 kilometers into Burgos the next day. And I know the day into Burgos is kind of killer because it's a really long entry into the city and I think not so nice. Um, so I have about uh, almost 50 kilometers to divide up over the next couple of days and I just got to figure out how I want to do it. But I know there's a big climb out tomorrow. So I don't know what I want to do, but right now I'm going to get to my hostel, my albergue, and rest. my albergue but they don't open till 1. It's 11.45 so I went and had a coke at a bar and then I went to the supermarket and got this little pasta salad thing and some chocolate chip madeleine so I'm gonna eat this sitting on this bench and maybe the albergue will open before 1. We'll see. That would be great. So this is my albergue in Belorado. Um, there are a lot of rooms with different bunks. Um, this is Cuatro Cantones. I think it's uh, 14 euros for the night. Um, I never understand why sometimes when you get to albergues first, they give you the top bunk. I don't understand that. Like, I'm here first. Shouldn't I get the bottom bunk? But no, I have a top bunk. So here I am. Um, they have a communal dinner tonight, which I probably will do at 7.30. Um, bathroom, shower, laundry through that door, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap. Mm -hmm. 